Over the last three and a half million years, we've created tools that have in turn helped us create our world. And while those tools have made more and more things possible, they've also defined our aesthetic and limited our imaginations. Until now, if you couldn't draw it, you couldn't fully imagine it. But what if instead of drawing what you already know, you could tell the computer what you want to accomplish? For example, say I want to design a chair. Instead of drawing a chair and then playing with the form, I could instead tell the computer that I wanted a chair that can support this much weight, weigh this much, and cost this much, and produce something based on the material that I've chosen. The computer can then deliver to me thousands, if not millions of design options, all of which meet those criteria. And from those options, I can pick the one design that delivers on the most important criteria. And the one that I select might not even been one that I could have imagined on my own. That's the promise of generative design. But why is it important? It's an entirely new way of doing things, and the benefits are potentially staggering. Unprecedented reductions in costs, development time, material consumption, the sky's the limit. And when we combine generative design with the emergence of new forms of manufacturing like 3D printing, we suddenly have access. Traditional manufacturing methods require you to make massive numbers of something just in order to be profitable. Small designers without access to production resources were simply out of luck. But now we can do a batch run of just one. The stage is being set for the re-emergence of local manufacturing. Generative design extends beyond manufacturing. In fact, everything that's designed will be affected, including the built environment. How do you create an ideal floor plan? Can we balance structures for material type, strength, and energy consumption? Generative design promises a way to answer these questions and to create designs that avoid waste and control cost. So all that's great. What does this mean for the designer? Now they will co-create with the technology, choosing the constraints and setting the goals. The software simply determines the most optimized way of achieving those goals. It's going to lead to astounding results. And that's generative design.